Home sweet home. Ah, uh, not so fast. Don't you dare grab that remote. God, I, f I feel like your dad. You can watch the new movie later. I have a present for you. Yes, uh, another present. Too many. I... I don't think there's a limit to that. I care about you. And I want to show it. Of course I care. What makes you ask? Johnny said I should scrap you. What the hell? Yes, I'm mad. He can say that to me, but not you. Nobody should be told they deserve to be abandoned, or that they aren't worth it. Yeah, Johnny is my friend. But that doesn't mean what he said was okay. Or that I agree with him. Buddy, I'm not gonna give up on you. Ever. I promise. There's something about you. I don't know what. Well, you feel familiar. Like home. And that's comforting. Home isn't really a place, buddy. Home is... More like a feeling. You can move around the world and still feel at home. You feel like home to me. You think you get it. It's okay if you don't, buddy. Humans are confusing. I understand. I'm your home? That's... <laughs> that's sweet. Thank you. Anyway, uh, <laughs> your present. Hold out your hands, and close your eyes. No, you can't look. <laughs> Just wait. Okay. You can look now. It's what's inside the bag, silly. You look confused. They're trousers. Oh, and shoes at the bottom. Why do you need clothes? Well, I know you don't have any... Uh... You know, but I don't know. I thought you might like the option. You really don't have to. You like them? Buddy, you can be honest with me, you know. No, I won't believe you until you try them on. Where's the top part? Huh? What are you... Oh, my shirt? Oh... I kind of maybe... Forgot? Oh, but I have an idea. I'll be right back. Here. It's a... It's a jumper my mum made me. She said I'd grow into it, but <laughs> look at me. It'll fit you, though. Of course. Go ahead. It... It suits you... Really well. More importantly, do you like it? You like them? 
Really? That's great. We can find more clothes for you if you'd like. But... Right now... That isn't so important. Yeah. Kinda... Serious talk now, buddy. Johnny had a look at the chip we found. He said, only the company that made you is able to read it. But I need to ask you, do you know anything about who made you? Nothing. That's what I thought you'd say. Yeah, I know the company. Juno has been around for a long time. Before I was even thought of. They were well known for secrecy. So many rumours and conspiracies. It was even rumoured that the employees weren't allowed to tell anyone they worked there. Not even their families. Quickly, Juno got a bad reputation, but their tech sold out anyways. They had their time, for sure, but they aren't so active now. They were the biggest company for androids in their prime. They made them for all kinds of things. Nobody really knows what happened, but they just went quiet. That's all I know. Can we go see them? Theoretically, yes. Realistically, no. If they let anyone near their factories, maybe we would have a chance. They never answered their phones or their emails or anything, really. Oh, uh, yeah, I do know from experience. Don't laugh. I used to send them letters as a kid. It was a dream of mine to work for a company like that. I sent them the stupid little blueprints that I designed. I thought they'd hire me. Then, when I was a bit older, I emailed and called several times. I really wanted to know what happened to them. Nope. Never heard anything. Not even an automated message. I think the contact details are all fake. Which makes sense, considering how secretive they were. So we can't read it. Well... Not exactly. Here, let me show you what their factories look like. Do you see the big fence around it? Not to toot my own horn, but I know my tag. That electric fence is made by a company that went bust a while ago. The reason they shut down is because their equipment was faulty. This fence will turn off for about an hour every 48 hours. So, if we figure out when it'll be off, we can climb over it and sneak in. There's a factory not too far away from here. It's pretty big too, so it's likely to have what we need. We can set up a camera in the bushes that we can watch from here. When the red light goes off, we just plan our heist for 48 hours after that. Yeah. That means we only have an hour to go in and out again. It's not long, you're right. The factory is pretty large. We'll likely get lost. Hey, buddy. Do you have any kind of software that could help us find the exit again? You could map out the building as we explore. That'd be awesome. And incredibly useful if we need to go again. 
You know, buddy, I think this will all work out. We're getting closer to finding out who you really are. And what happened to Juno.